Today we're going to be taking a look at the rebuild process on the Bulldog 190 series square jack and the Fulton 5,000 pound lift capacity square jack. This has an 8,000 pound static capacity just like the Bulldog jack does here. These are going to have the two and a half inch outer tubes, of course square, the two and a quarter inch inner tube on both of them there. And the metal cap is going to look like that. It has two bolts that hold it in place. Now to rebuild our jack, we're going to have a few components here. Uh, first we'll start off with part number BD500156. This is going to be our gear kit. Now this is kind of a universal gear kit for a lot of the, uh, the Fulton and Bulldog jacks. It's going to come with two base gears. We'll be using the one with the larger diameter hole in it. And have a new pin for that to ride on. Got a new shear pin here for our handle gear. It's what turns that base gear, rotates it, and that what runs that screw up and down and makes our jack work. And we also have a metal bearing. Now this is kind of a, an enclosed bearing. You see it's got a cap on the top that's going to help keep out any moisture that comes down and then the bottom that's going to rotate on our thrust washer there around the thrust bearing. So that eliminates any of the friction and it's going to help our jack last for a good long time. Now the bushing with the larger diameter opening you see here is going to go around the screw in a downward fashion. Now the bearing kit, that is part number BD500224. You want to get the handle kit, which is part number BD500171. That's going to have the handle, new shear pin, and then the flange bushings for the either side there. And then if your cap's been damaged, this is a pretty, pretty integral part of the jack. This is what's going to keep the, the moisture and the dirt out of our gear kit. It's going to keep it from running down into the inner tube of the jack. This is going to be part number BD500205. Now the toolkit you're going to need is pretty simple here. We've got a ratchet. This has an 11 millimeter socket on it. We also have a hammer. We've got a 1 8 inch and a 5 32nd punch and also a pair of needle nose. It's really all we're going to need to get this done with the exceptions of a little bit of grease. It doesn't necessarily have to be high temp or high load grease, but you do want a quality grease and some shop towels. Now the two bolts that pass through the cap, you can see they've got lock nuts on the end of them there. You see that one's not even really tightened down. You want to tighten it down at least till it makes contact. But we're going to loosen these up, get those bolts removed. Our cap should just lift straight off of there. If we rotate it, we'll see our gears there. Got our handle gear there, and you can see it's just going to turn that base gear. That turns the screw, which causes it to go up and down. Now let's wipe that grease out of there so we can see where our pins are located. Now if we rotate our handle, you can see right here there's a little indention in that gear. That's where that shear pin passes through. What we'll do is take our hammer, we're going to start to drive that out. Bring that out. We'll set that aside and we can just gently pull back on that handle. We'll slide right out of our gear and that's the hole our shear pin went through. So that's what ties the handle and the gear together. Lift our gear up. And then with the handle kit, these are those replacement bushings. Now for the base gear, all we have to do there is just lift up. You can see that's going to come right off the pin. And again, we've got that larger diameter hole in the gear, so we'll be using that one. Now we're going to, of course, just clean these parts up and put them back in. These don't need to be rebuilt, but you get the idea of where the replacement parts will come into play. Now you can probably slide it out by hand, but just grab that pin with needle nose. You can pull it right out of there. Next, we've got a couple of washers here. You can see that other bushing. Now we'll just lift up on that outer tube. You'll see it's going to slide right off of our inner tube. 
we can see that bearing and that thrust washer. Now basically this washer rides on the outer tube. It sits right here. So as the screw turns, as it goes lower, that allows the outer tube to lower down on. And then as it extends or as it pushes up, that bearing is just gonna spin, allowing the rotation and reducing the friction between that top plate. So really hard to damage this screw portion of the jack. Most of your damage is gonna occur if your uh, handle gets in a bind and you push it too far or something like that, or if the cap deteriorates and you get moisture down in there. So just a quick, easy rebuild process for you. We'll get it put back together now. This will, is that thrust washer and that bearing that came with the kit. So you just wanna keep that in mind. You slide that new portion down on there. Bring that outer tube right back down over. You see that screw just passes right up in there. This plate sits right down on that bearing. Take the flange bushing with the larger diameter hole and get that lined up. Slide down in. We can replace that flat washer. Now that thicker diameter pin that was a little bit shorter is this smooth pin. It's gonna fit right in this opening. We want to capture that pin right in that opening on the bottom of the gear. Just like that. We can put our flange bushings back on both sides. We want to take our new handle gear and place it down and in. Just want to make sure our gears mesh up there. Slide through our handle. It's going to go all the way through. And then the hole in the handle we need to get that aligned with the opening on our gear so we can put in our pin. So it'll be about right there. Take our new shear pin, place that down and in. And we can drive it in from that point about midway. All right, now we'll Grab our new grease here, get that spread all around our gears. Certainly don't want so much that it's running out of the cap of the jack or anything, but you can put plenty in there, it ain't gonna hurt anything. Then with your grease gun, you have a grease zerk right there that'll allow you to grease that screw. Now we'll just have to slide our new cap on there. You wanna place the bolts in with the rounded portion of that carriage bolt facing the handle. They go through the other way, you'll see that bolt head kind of sticks out there and we want to reduce that. That's all there is to it. You can see, back nice and smooth operation. We hope that shows you with a little bit of time and a few parts you can rebuild your jack rather than going through a complete replacement process. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.